Just go back to your party, Laura, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Fuck you! Excuse me? This is my bachelorette party for my wedding! Me, Jordan, it's not any of our other- It's me. And you've been completely unenthused. Oh, I'm sorry. Allow me to try and enthuse a little more. It feels like you're sleepwalking through all these events, and it's like you're my best friend. Uh, Laura, I really count on you to- Don't go there. Don't go where? Don't call me your best friend, okay? Just don't call me that. But you are. Why aren't I a bridesmaid? What? If I'm so important, why am I not standing up there next to you? My sisters are bridesmaids! And your cousin! Because she doesn't have any sisters! I wanted to do something nice for her! If I was a woman, I'd be one of your bridesmaids. That's a fact. I feel like I don't know you! Because I'm having a wedding? Yeah, kind of. I mean, why are you having this wedding? Because that's what people do! When did you become someone who does things because that's what people do? I wanted to bring my world together with his for a night and a stand weekend. in front- Not a night. A weekend. And stand in the front third, of- three weekends, actually. And stand in front of all the people that matter to us. And to have them see that we're in us. And then celebrate that with a big party. And except for you, everyone else gets that and is actually, believe it or not, happy for me. You're the only one that doesn't seem to get it. Oh, I'm the only one? Yeah, Jordan, you're the only one. The one person I thought was my greatest ally, my biggest cheerleader, my partner. He's gonna be like this? He's gonna come to my bachelorette party and throw himself a little pity party? A pity party? Oh, okay. Because what? He's not a bridesmaid? Seriously? I try to be compassionate, I really do, but you really test the limits. Oh, oh I test the limits? You test the fucking limits, Laura. Uh-huh, yeah, you want to expand on that? Oh, oh, with pleasure. With fucking pleasure. Let's start with tonight. Huh, the bachelorette party, which comes on the heels of the bridal shower, where we had to buy you pots and pans and Cuisinarts and all the shit for a kitchen you will never use because you don't cook. I guess the budget you're supposedly on doesn't apply to your friends. I'm basically spending, like, $2,500, which I don't really have right now, on something I don't even believe in, and neither do you. I don't want you to come to my wedding, Jordan. Great because I don't want to go to it. Sometimes they're silly, and sometimes they're serious. And they all fit together like a conversation. It's amazing. When I first met him, I noticed his sweet little cowboy smile. But I never saw... I never guessed that these kind of thoughts could be behind it. <sighs> oh, I'm falling, Travis. I've fallen. My single policy has been dismantled along with my hatred towards the male species. And he's just a gorgeous specimen of manhood. I've tried looking for speed bumps and roadkill and I just can't find anything. And I'm positive he's not one of those slimy guys with an Asian fetish. I located his porn stash. <laughs> Travis, if this is your first time seeing pornography and you feel uncomfortable, it's okay. You can let me know. I found his porn stash in the default location, the sock drawer. I'm a master at locating porn stashes. It's your standard red-blooded American pornographic bric-a-brac. Up-and-comers number 23, dirty debutantes. No East meets West, with meets being spelled M-E-A-T-S. No Eastern Anal Odyssey, no dragon fisting, no Oriental rug munchers.
Do you know what this means? He's into me for me.